It's called sink. Sink, falling backwards in time makes me think that I cross the line and I blink and erase this great crime as we sink, falling backwards in time. Sink, falling backwards in time makes me think that I cross the line. I'll blink and erase this great crime as we sink, falling backwards in time. I know you don't think that I feel like you in two ways. For us to give, forgive, for us to give, forgive, for us to give. Amazing, Sarah, thank you. That's all the unveiling, I think. What's that? Is that all the unveiling? Yeah, sink? that's right. I love it. Yeah, thanks. I love it. I mean, it wasn't good, but it was sound so different live I love it um just before I play another one of your songs actually on album wise you're gonna take a break let's talk about your songwriting a bit because I notice your you know most of your lyrics are pretty real they're pretty raw they're emotional they seem to be right from the heart why don't you tell our millions and millions of <laughs> listeners tonight uh a little bit about your songwriting how, how you do it where does it come go as an artist yeah absolutely um 
like a lot of uh, young kids, I, I was looking for somewhere to an outlet to put my feelings. I grew up on a farm and I didn't have a lot of people around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot of animals and stuff and uh, and me. And so I decided that I needed to put my feelings out through music. And I started to kind of be that emo kid that locked themselves in the room and put all my feelings and emotions into songs. And uh, I started at a very young age and I've been doing it ever since. I'm in my 40s now. Yeah, you're 42. Yeah, and yeah. I, I just, I still can't stop writing about how I feel. It just comes out, you know, if I'm feeling Amazing. kind of down or low, it's, it's kind of my answer to how I'm feeling. Usually I, I can write something positive in the spin around of the song that gives me my answer I'm looking for. Right. I feel like it's d divine sometimes, you know? It is divine. It, it, creative energy, right? Yeah. That's I feel um, I shake when I write, I vibrate, I get right in the face, and it's a very spiritual experience. You never know, because you're such a relaxed performer. I've seen you, what, 30 times, and you're always relaxed, chill. Any environment, you've all, you always have the room captured. Well, always. performing is different than creating, right? When I'm creating, I'm alone, yes, and it's just me and God, or the divine, and I feel mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm being a vehicle, and it's a very unique feeling. When I'm performing, I get very anxious and very nervous, but it's also that same sort of energy. It is mm -hmm. an energy, it's going through me and I have to capture it somehow. That's how I'm able to put it into my performance. And that's why sometimes I'm crazy amazing. on stage because I don't know where to put that energy. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to the COVID pass because you're going to do so well on this island. People are going to love to see you. Here. It's going to be amazing. Um, all right, so Sarah's going to take a break. Wrestles woke of course. I'm going to play one of her songs. Uh, also off the unveiling. We yeah. played it yesterday and I play it all the time. And Woo. like I said yesterday, it's my workout time. <laughs> you don't get my love. Enjoy. Nice. All right. Nice job. How does it sound for the Amazing. Car? Really? Amazing. Great. Amazing. Amazing. Right, we have lots of time. That was fun. So you're recording? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have that. And what do you do? Can you like replay this on Facebook? Yeah. Sweet! <laughs> I love it. 